Plenty of talent was on display this weekend at the U of M Soccer Complex for Phase 1 of Team Manitoba U18 tryouts. Back at the helm for Year 2 was Manitoba Bisons coach Ryan Carhut, who will yet again be joined by other members of the university team's staff, such as defensive coordinator Stan Pierre and defensive backs coach Richard Banovich. The value of having various Bison coaches on staff goes both ways. For the players, it's a chance to learn schemes and concepts they might not necessarily have been taught prior. And for the coaches, it's a chance to diagnose and get to know the top prospects for future draft classes. As a Bison perspective, it's huge for us. It's a great opportunity for us to work with the best kids in Manitoba and get an opportunity to work with them, coach with them, be on the field with them, and then get a better understanding of who they are and what they are as a football player. So we really like it. It gives us a great chance to get a good look at guys. But when we're on the field, we don't really look at it that way. We're here more just to help these kids get better, help develop them, and, uh, you know, see who's going to compete the hardest when the, when the uh, chips are at the middle of the table. Carhartt and company will also be aided by the return of 12 WHSFL players from a stacked 2020 draft class, as well as four athletes from Northern Ontario. It's been incredibly good because we have that leadership already instilled in our program, like having those 16 guys back. They know the coaches, their familiarity with the surroundings, they understand how our practice structure is and how up tempo we try to push things. And uh, having that many guys there pushing it with us is, is really good. It's like an extension of the coaching staff. One positional area that jumps off the page immediately is quarterback. Incoming senior T. Jesse of St. Paul's returns from last year's squad. However, a number of sophomores have also staked their claim, such as Vincent Massey's Jordan Hanslip and Sisler's Richard Lugemeyer. The quarterback group is just, it's, it's very deep, and I don't know if I've seen a Team Manitoba U18 program uh, try out before where they had this many talented quarterbacks. It's, you know, we're going to probably cut down to around six for the next phase. That'll be a pretty tough decision. And then after that, it's just going to get even worse for the coaching staff. It's, uh, it's going to be really, really hard. And there's, there's a bunch of grade 10s in that group that are playing above what my expectation level would be for a grade 10. And uh, they're doing a great job. Next up in the selection process will be the Black and Gold Weekend, which takes place May long and will help Carhartt and company get a clearer understanding of who will fit on the team's roster for the Canada Cup. This isn't a big scrimmage that we like to have, an exhibition game where we actually split into two teams. Uh, last year was a ton of fun. The Black Gold game itself was an incredible game. It was, it was very entertaining for the fans that all came out. Uh, and then from there, you know, we'll pare down the roster to 54. Uh, June we'll have some practices and some camps going on. And then at the end of June, we'll head right into training camp and practice until we head on the plane and go out to Kingston.